my first uh, generation American. My mother and her family, my father and his family all fled Germany in 1937, 38, and 39. So I grew up amongst um, German Jews, wonderful, vivacious people. And as a child, I could never understand why anybody would have wanted to kill them. I heard the stories of what their lives were like in Germany, and they were wonderful lives. Um, so I, I've been on a quest my whole life trying to ascertain how in a country like Germany in the middle of the 20th century, the Holocaust could happen. And uh, when my kids got to a point where I felt like I could spend time on myself, um, I went and got trained as a Holocaust educator at the Museum of Jewish Heritage in Battery Park City, and I am a gallery educator there. And we get 50,000 students a year coming through. And, you know, in the 90 minutes that we have for tour, really my goal is to develop some empathy for the, on the part of the kids, for this is what happens when we break up in a society, us versus them. This is what happens if we are bystanders. When we see things and mistreatments of other people, if it makes us uncomfortable, we don't get involved. It also goes into bullying. Um, so, you know, you get, I think we get, you know, maybe 15 kids in our group, hundreds come in at a time, it's really crazy. If at the end of the session, two or three kids really get it, I feel like I've succeeded. Because we get kids in from various places in New York City and the suburbs, et cetera, et cetera. We get kids coming in who live in New York City who don't know what a Jew is. I mean, it's, you know, you, you, you can't prejudge anybody. Uh, I've done some seminars here on Holocaust education. I teach the seventh graders Holocaust and human rights. Um, this past summer, I did a two-week training program at Yad Vashem, and the summer before that, I was at Yad Vashem for an international Holocaust conference, which was fascinating. There were 500 people from 50 countries, and most were not Jewish. But they came because they felt that the Holocaust is such a teachable example of what happens um, when people have this us versus them, when people don't extend themselves to help people. And we can't undo the Holocaust, but my, my tikkun olam part of uh, Holocaust education is if I can educate kids to think in a different way, in this highly, highly fractured way, um, to step out of their comfort zone, to do something, to help somebody, to not um, be prejudiced and marginalize people, then there is something to be learned and possibly some sort of weird positive outcome to the Holocaust. So that's why I do what I do. Good for you.